World Post Middle East correspondent Sophia Jones. And Sophia, I want to start with you. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Let's talk about these freed hostages. This weekend, 49 hostages were freed by ISIS, returned to Turkey. Uh, some questions being raised as to how Turkey was able to secure their freedom. Yes, there's lots of mystery and concern over how it happened. The government isn't revealing pretty much anything. And there are rumors flying that there was some sort of a prisoner exchange or that ISIS got something in return. Uh, some people say that it's sort of a weird gift to Turkey from the Islamic State for not joining the U.S.-led anti-ISIS coalition. I spoke with two family members of the hostages, and both of them expressed concern over how it actually uh, went down. Uh, one of the cousins said to me that he blames the government for allowing ISIS to flourish within Turkey. Well, clearly they're having communications one way or another with ISIS. And another problem Turkey is dealing with is, well, refugees. Up to 100,000 refugees has, have poured into Turkey in the last couple of days. Yes, actually, it's up to 130,000 now, and that they wow. join over a million Syrian refugees who are already here, and Turkey is struggling to help these refugees. Last week, I was interviewing homeless Syrians who were living in a bus station. I mean, these Syrian Kurds come, they have very little, um, they have no food, they have no money, and now they probably have no shelter either. Sophia Jones from Istanbul, thank you so much for being with me this morning.